Do you ever lie on your back and look up at the sky and imagine different shapes forming out of the clouds? Sometimes you can imagine a heart, a teddy bear, or even a fierce dragon. Clouds can be entertaining to look at because they have so many different shapes, sizes, and colors. But the different shapes of clouds also allow us to help predict the weather, just as people have for centuries. Think about your experiences with clouds. When you look at the sky, you can probably tell what kind of weather to expect that day: sunny, cold, or rainy, just by looking at the clouds. Cumulus clouds are the large, puffy clouds that look like giant cotton balls in the sky. The word cumulus means pile or heap, so you can remember that cumulus clouds look like a heap of puffy cotton balls. They tell you that you can probably expect fair weather. Cirrus clouds are the thin, wispy clouds that are very high in the sky. The scientist who first classified these clouds thought they looked like locks of hair, and the name cirrus comes from a word that means a wisp of hair. These wispy clouds are actually made up of tiny ice crystals instead of water droplets, and they indicate that a mass of cooler air is on the way. Stratus clouds produce a thick and featureless cloud coverage that looks like a solid sheet of white or gray in all directions. When stratus clouds cover the sky, often we cannot pinpoint the sun's location. The word stratus means blanket. The cloud coverage looks like a blanket over the Earth. Stratus clouds are associated with rain, fog, and drizzle. Cumulonimbus clouds are the dark and low storm clouds. Its name means piled-up rainy cloud. These are the storm clouds that bring raindrops, snow, hail, and lightning.